Hey everybody, dgooden 24 here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about the news that came out, I guess, yesterday about iRacing purchasing the exclusive NASCAR rights away from motorsport games. I know I'm a little late to this, but you know, that's what happens when you have a bunch of life stuff in the way, and that's fine. Uh, but we, I'm going to talk about it a little bit and kind of what we can expect. I had kind of went over this before when I had made this, when there was rumors about this happening. And I'm going to be honest, I was right on the money. I, I thought for sure that uh, iRacing was going to purchase the rights. Now, what what's going to happen going forward is, is the interesting part. Let's kind of start, about, start with the transaction, I guess. Uh, the fact that... They purchased the exclusive rights. It's not, um, they're just kind of taking the rights back and making the exclusivity go away. Now, iRacing has the exclusive rights for however long this contract lasts. And I don't know how long that's going to be. Obviously, I don't think any of us do. Unless they announced it when the Motorsport Games thing came together and then it just transfers over. I don't know. So, we'll see. But I... I I want to say it's a good thing, but I don't think any exclusive license is a good thing. I think that you're not inspiring competition. But with iRacing, it's a little different because the iRacing is already so good. Like, that iRacing has scans of every track and all the cars. And so, honestly, it just kind of depends on what they do with the game. Um... I don't believe this is going to be iRacing on consoles. I just don't think that's feasible. Because, like, I've tried to race with the controller on iRacing just for fun. And it, while it's doable, it is very, very difficult. And it takes lots of practice and lots and lots of practice and mastering just to, to be competitive. And can you be? Yes, but most people aren't going to be. And it's just a, it's it's a lot. I, I don't think it's going to be eye racing on consoles. That's just not what it's going to be. Now, could they transfer it over? That's yet to be determined. We don't really know if this is going to be NASCAR Heat since eye racing purchased Monster Games. We don't know if this is going to be like NASCAR Heat with the updated track models and car models. Because I think they use the Unity engine, and frankly, I don't think that's such a good idea, especially with how Unity is being stupid right now i'm not going to get into that but you can't trust unity i don't know if they're going to use that i don't know if they're going to use like the NASA. it's just really confusing if there was a way for them to transfer the iRacing like engine i know the code's from 2008 but if they could find a way to transfer that and make it basically kind of like iRacing on the consoles then that would be perfect but i i just don't understand know what they're gonna go with here i really hope they don't go like the nascar heat route and make it like that game and <sighs> i know that's what world of outlaws does and i love that game but i feel like there's more room for improvement i feel like with i racing there's more room for improvement especially with the world of outlaws game too like i was hoping for more dynamic tracks than the stagnant ones that we have but that game is still really good it, it's just who knows what we're gonna get i'm i'm certainly hoping that they do something new and we don't get like a nascar heat-esque game now i know that monster games has come a long way since then even so they've they've learned a lot i would st still like to try something new but i honestly would be okay if they did a like a dirt to daytona remaster if that makes sense a remake where they if the, if the physics were like that with the updated track models and car models that would be great no complaints here but you gotta update the sounds but iRacing can do that pretty easily the sounds in the World of Outlaws games are, are, are great or game it's just I there's a lot to, to process here so let's kind of just keep rambling I guess <laughs> um, they said the game won't come out until 2025 I've seen some people asking, why is that going to take so long? Why is that going to take so long? Well, you want it to take that long because you want to make sure there's going to be a solid, good product. You want you want them to put as much time as possible to make it less buggy, more polished, and overall a good game. You saw what NASCAR 21 Ignition was like. 
That deserved another year in the oven at least. You don't want to do that again. There's plenty of time between now and, you know, sometime 2025 for this game to, to be polished and put together well. And it, it makes me seem, makes it seem for me like that they're not going to go and just build off of NASCAR Heat. They're going to kind of do their own thing with the iRacing assets because I feel like you wouldn't need that long to kind of put this game together with the NASCAR Heat, you know, base. So that makes me optimistic. It's, I just want this game to be good. I'm more than happy to wait another year and a half, almost two years for this game. I do hope that it comes out early 2025. Like if we could get it in March or April instead of June, July, August, September, October. I know the NASCAR Heat games kind of started coming out in the middle of July-ish. I would prefer them to come out earlier, you know, get some of the hype of the NASCAR season going. I know the old U-Technics games, they wanted one to come out like on the Daytona 500 day, which would be sweet, but I understand with paint schemes, that's kind of difficult. If we could get an earlier release date, that would be awesome because playing a NASCAR game that comes out in the fall when the season is wrapping up and you're going to spend the next six months racing with old schemes and old drivers before the silly season moves it sucks it's not it's not fun so i'm hoping that they do that they said every track is gonna have everything every track every driver every blah 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 now I, you say that but do you mean it if they're gonna have say they're gonna have everything every track every car I want every single car. I don't want to just have the 36 charter cars and then, oh, you know, maybe we'll throw in you know, Shane Van Gisbergen or whatever. No, I want every car that made an attempt all year to ha have a car in the game. That's what they need to do. I don't want, I mean, they won't have fantasy cars because I believe like the RTA is like through this too. But I want every, I literally want that. I don't want them to say, oh, you say it and then not even do it. If they're going to have every track, are we going to get trucks? Are we going to get Xfinity? I would like to hope so. It seems pretty easy. You've got the car models. So we'll see. Personally, I think this is going to be a Dirt 2 Daytona 2, if that makes sense. This is this is absolutely going to be Dirt 2 Daytona-esque. They're going to have you, if, if it's not just the Cup Series, which I don't think it will be, but... I understand if for the first game they keep it just the Cup Series. It's, I, I won't be upset. But if they have all the series, it's going to be Dirt to Daytona-esque. Now, whether they make the street stocks or they put actual late models or if they have like a, the World of Outlaws somehow underneath that, I don't know. I really don't think it needs to be like a whole tier of dirt. I'd say just one, like the dirt laid models, kind of like NASCAR Heat did would be fine. Or even the street stocks, I suppose, would be fine, too. If they wanted to keep it like Dirt to Daytona. Um, but I would love for them to do that. It would make so much sense doing Dirt to Daytona. You could just call it that. That's it. Like, it would be easy. Dirt to Daytona 2025, I guess. I mean, the, the model is there. Now, I would like for them to make some key changes if they do go the Dirt to Daytona route. I don't want it to be owner mode if that makes sense i want that to be an option i just don't want it to be where you have to win the championship to move up you have to win the championship to move up i want it to have contracts and negotiations and and just driving for other teams or owning your own team or buying another team you know like there's time to make this a fantastic game plenty of time if they have all the assets that like that's the hardest part is getting everything made and put in there and then so they, they have that they could they have everything they can just get it i mean they <laughs> put it together and spend the next year two years just ironing everything out and just making sure it plays great and hopefully building modes because like a racing game can be fun nascar game f1 or whatever but if there's no fun modes then it's well the career mode on nascar ignition was pathetic it was i mean sure they had contracts and stuff but it was just there was no there was no sense of of feeling you were, like you were there but i'm i'm excited i'm very optimistic i think i race i racing is the pinnacle and i i've seen some people say 
Oh, now I'm gonna have to buy a whole sim rig to play this game. I mean, we don't even know if this game's coming to PC. I know they had the Steam logo, but iRacing is on Steam, so who knows? I would like to hope that they're gonna put it on PC. That's just a, a market right there that that is untapped. I know iRacing has their own AI. They're making their own career mode. But I feel like you're just throwing money away. People would love to buy this and have iRacing. I would, I would get it on PC and still have iRacing. Like I'm, you're not losing a sale with me. That's silly. I feel like if you want iRacing and you can afford it, you're gonna do it. You're gonna just do it. Whether there's a new NASCAR game on a console or not. For me, console gaming is about playing on the couch, having fun and not really caring more of a, you know, arcade style. Or a Simcade, I guess. That's what I want from this game. I don't want it to be iRacing. I want it to be like an in-between. I want there to be options to make it more realistic. But I want there to be... I want it to be, you know, geared towards not just the casual players in-between. Like, I don't want this to be Baby's first NASCAR game. I want it to be just for the, for the high school or middle school or that, you know wants to just sit down and play a game. When I was in elementary school, I played the hell out of NASCAR 2005. And it was perfect for me. Kids these days need that. So hopefully they can gear it towards that. I think they will. I think it'll be kind of like World of Outlaws in that regard. If you play with a wheel, it's super, super fun. And it's more realistic. And it feels really good for me compared to a controller. But you can still play with a controller. And I think they'll do a good job at, at, at finding that. iRacing is really really good at what they do now i do have my complaints with them there's th there's legacy issues with with the oval side and content that they haven't quite mastered or or got grabbed a hold of yet but honestly this is as good as we're gonna get it, it is like we're not gonna get better than this this was the best option ea it just that was just a fever dream i just i tried to talk all you guys off the ledge EA is not, was not going to do this. It just wasn't going to happen. There's not enough money in it for them. I really think it just makes sense. They already have all the assets. And I, I feel like with iRacing, we're not going to be money gouged. Sure, we may have to pay for extra paint schemes, but that's just kind of it. I'm not going to be upset with that. Hopefully, if they give us a couple, it'd be fine. We're, I mean, I know for a fact we're past the day of them giving us all the schemes for free in the game. That's just how it is. It sucks. That's sports gaming right now. But I, I don't think they're going to make it a heavily monetized game. Probably DLC packs. I wouldn't be surprised, but we'll see. iRacing is, is pretty good about not doing that. They do it enough on the on the, on the, the PC side, having to buy every car and track. But, I mean, they've got to make their money somehow, so I, I understand it. I mean, I've, I've been on iRacing since 2010, 2011. So I like I'm very I know what iRacing is. I've I'm very experienced in it and while it does have some some things that they do, you know, need to work on or are not perfect at, this is going to be the best NASCAR racing experience on consoles that we've probably ever had. As much as I love the EA games, those had a lot of faults too and this has the real potential. Monster Games does a good job, but I think with iRacing's help now that they're 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 gonna make something special. I really believe that. But don't expect to hear much about this game until late next year, I would imagine. Late next year, maybe early 2025 even. Like we're just, it's gonna be radio silence, which is fine, unless they do like a developer diary thing and or like a Patreon where you can subscribe and see things as they go, like Skate Four is doing, and I would be fine with that. But I would expect Radio Silence going forward. I don't know what this means for arcade-style games. I know we just had NASCAR Arcade Rush, but that didn't involve any real-world drivers or teams. The, I know the license is the simulation license. Like, uh, it, it didn't say anything about arcade. It said simulation, so I don't know if we're going to get arcade games like that. NASCAR needs a good arcade game, whether it's NASCAR Rumble or car racing or something or burnout style game. It needs that. And I think both those games could co coexist on the market, but just not at the same time. Like maybe let's say the NASCAR game or the simulation game came out in March or April. 
you could release the arcade game in the fall. That would be fine. That would be, who cares about that? You can set, release that in October to hold you over until the next simulation release. And I don't know if that's something that iRacing would do. I know they have kind of a sim or an arcade style type game they're working on. I don't remember what it's called. But I don't know if that would be perfect for them. Hopefully that that license is available and someone can do that. I mean, even if I know the game mill NASCAR arcade rush game was not great at all, but I feel like they could make a game like NASCAR Unleashed and make it better than what this game is with real world drivers and teams. I know there's a lot of possibilities. There's a lot of things opening up right now, and it's very exciting. It this is an amazing time to be an NASCAR fan or a NASCAR gaming fan. We're gonna have to wait a little bit, but I mean the future has never looked brighter. We were just talking about how NASCAR games are, you know, the NASCAR gaming is so bleak and blah blah blah. When this rumor came out, I mean, for me, it just made so much sense for it to be out racing, and that's why I I thought the future of the future of uh, NASCAR console gaming is bright. It is it's so bright, and I'm so excited for this. This is honestly like the just the best news that we could get, unless like Codemasters was making it without EA support. But I mean, it's gonna be good. I just want them to make sure that they get it down, get it right. You've got almost two years to get this thing solid, and I think they'll do it. So uh, that was me rambling for the last. 17 minutes on on this i know i didn't really keep a cohesive thought going i just kind of rambled around but that's just kind of what i wanted to do there's already been you know lots of people posting videos about this and i'm late to the party so i just kind of wanted to give you my thoughts i hope you enjoyed it um as always if you haven't already hit that like button and subscribe i post lots of racing game content and we're on the way to 5,000 subscribers i would love to hit that before the end of the year we're only like 180 170 away so if you guys could help me out with that that would be appreciated uh i appreciate all of you appreciate my channel members you'll see them at the end of the video you can also join down below if you want to and you don't have to but any help would be really really appreciated but uh thank you so much and we'll see you next time